Hello, welcome back to my channel. Happy Monday. Yes, my hair is kind of messy, but not too bad. I actually washed my hair last night. But anyway, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melon Nostalgic Runner, and we are back again. My apologies. I actually sneezed and I don't like sneezing on camera, so I was like, let's pause and bring it back. But anyway, welcome back to Get Fit With Me series presents accountability. We are now at um this is the Second week of marathon, half marathon training completed. And I will say this, your girl's tired. I'm taking a rest day today uh, because last week I only rested, I believe, only rested, I think, on Wednesday. Wednesday was my only full rest day. Every single day last week, I worked out. I worked out. So um, I will say la last week was a pretty successful week when it came to working out, but I know I still have some adjustments to make for sure, for sure. So a lot of my workouts last week have been basically strength, not strength training, but like um, speed work base. So there was really, I only had one run that was like an easy run. All my other runs were like either... Um, 200 repeats, fart licks, tempo, a lot of more of those. So <clears throat> um, for this week, I've decided I need to pull back on doing so much speed work and do just a little bit more regular runs. And also the other thing that I learned was to not do, if I'm going to do strength training, try to do the strength training and running on the same day. Um, don't try to do it separately because as a result last week, I was almost, I almost did exactly what was on my plan last week. Almost. So basically I got four, all four of my strength training days in. So that was perfect. I did originally say I was going to try to do five and try to add on. I need to be honest with myself with that too. Because uh, I did mention it before, the older you get, the more you really shouldn't do that. And really, you shouldn't do that in general. Like, it is like one of those golden rules in endurance sports to, if you miss a day, don't try to add it in. Um, so, if you do that, if you try to add in, it a lot of times can cause injury. And I apologize, I received an email so I was checking my watch um an important email <laughs> um so but yeah you shouldn't do that because if you do that again it it definitely can cause injury trying to do that the other thing is it also can it, it's just not a good idea and in my case especially because I'm trying to work my way back up to what I was doing to all of a sudden just go up like this and not gradually go up it's not it's not a smart move because I have a lot of goals for running and sports this year and I don't want to cause injury over random, over something random like that. That <laughs> my head would probably truly explode if something like that was to happen because of my doing. Um, so yeah. Anyway, um, so I was able to get all four of the strength training days in. I was able to get all my yoga days in, so we're almost there. I actually did one extra yoga routine, so I did four yoga routines last week, and I got in four out of the five runs. So the goal, remember, was three, four, five, so three yoga sessions, four strength training sessions, and five runs. So. I still was kind of within the ballpark of what I was trying to do. It still just isn't quite it. Because my goal is I really do want to be at least three, four, five. Now, if I get more in on the yoga or more in on the run or more in the strength training, that's awesome. That's a bonus. But I still want to make sure I'm getting all of all three of them in the right balance, the right order of things. Uh, the other thing that I did do over the weekend was I actually did... Um, 
went to get my bike tuned up so I could start um, using my bike more again. Because especially during the time when the world was at disarray, I mean, the world is at disarray right now too, let's, let's be honest, but in a different kind of disarray, um, I made sure, I made like positive sure that I was biking everywhere. I was biking, running, occasionally driving my car, but it wasn't as much as what I'm doing now. And honestly, my driving my car thing has gotten a lot better, but I also don't go anywhere. <laughs> so that's kind of how I solve that problem. It's like, oh, if you don't go anywhere, you can't drive your car. <laughs> um, but I have been driving it a little bit more again, going to the gym, because I was trying to make it a thing where I would like walk to the bus station, take the bus to the gym, take it back. And as much as I liked that routine because it was making me walk more. It was not working for me for the sheer fact it took me forever to get to the gym. And back in my head, that's all I was thinking about that I could have gotten this done already if I would have just drove. And the hardest part of getting to, the hardest part of working out as far as strength training is concerned is getting to the destination. Once you're there, I'm, I'm getting it in. And for me, the longer I prolong trying to get to a destination that I'm already like going back and forth in my head on, it's not doing me favors. So there, as a result, that was what was causing me to like not go to the gym as much because I had that in the back of my head versus me hopping in my car, getting to the gym, getting it in and getting back. I don't have the itch in my head because I already went there. I, I it, You know, it's, it's quicker for me to just drive there. <laughs> so... And in the summer months, it's the same. It's about the same amount of time to bike there as it is to drive there because how packed traffic is. Traffic actually in the summer months is actually a lot worse. So it's better for me to like ride my bike than like drive. So yeah, I'm actually getting excited and ready for that. So I got my bike tuned up as a result. I kind of went on a tangent there, but I think that will help a lot. Um, and then for this week, we're going to make sure we do the strength training and the running on the same day um, and not just do the one and not do the other. On the weekend, about so that so yesterday I did the same thing where I just did the strength training. But when I tell you I was just beat up and tired about the time I got to yesterday, I was so proud of myself for even getting to the gym yesterday because I was so tired. I mean, so tired. It doesn't help that <laughs> a lot of me trying to do this was a week of, so week two of um, half marathon training is occurring or occurred during the daylight savings of it all. So my sleep was all jacked up. I was tired. And this week I think I'll be back to normal form because I did try to make an effort on Sunday to get caught up with sleep so that I can be more accustomed to, you know, do I need to do? Um, but then the other update that I do have, um, so switching focus here. So the other update that I have that's coming up is, so because I mentioned last week, we're gonna just, we're gonna do the Mondays as a recap. And other thing that I do have this week that's gonna be slightly different is I have a race on Sunday. I have a race. So because I have a race, That means I'm going to be working extra hard <laughs> because I do want to try to run the decent race on Sunday. Also, besides that, I do also want to try to make sure I still get the four times in um, at the gym. And this week, I'm probably only going to, only going to do yoga three to um, two times because I did all four last week. So that does give me some wiggle room to just do two yoga sessions this week. So I will have two yoga sessions. I already have one yoga session that's ready and pre-recorded. That's going to be coming up Friday. But then I'm going to have two more yoga sessions I'm going to do this week for that. Um, so the goal is to get all five days in of running, including a race run. Um, so that's the other thing, too. Because I have a race, that means I'm going to dial back the speech, speed workouts because a race is a speed workout. <laughs> Um, and then 
The other thing I'm going to do is make sure I get all four times in. Also make sure I get sleep and also continue trying to have a clean diet for the most part. Um, cause I did have a cheat day on Friday, which worth it, worth it. Had a crab royal. It was so good. So good. But anyway, that is a little bit what I got going on and I will keep you updated for the, um, race on Sunday. I'm thinking I actually vlog a little bit of it so you can see what I got going on and that'll be included in the Get Fit With Me series presents accountability for next Monday. But anyway, that does conclude the video. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you get anything out of the content. It's your girl Sharon aka The Melanin Nostalgic Runner and I will see you next time. And also happy self-care Monday. Make sure you do that and motivation Monday. All those things. Make sure you're doing that as well. Bye.